10 reasons why atheists missing out on God's goodness. 10 reasons why atheists missing out on God's goodness. Yes, atheists. A person that don't believe in God existence. Now I'm coming from Acts the 17th chapter. Glory to God. 22 verse, verse 28. And it read, Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, He men of Atheists, O Athens, I perceive in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotion, your altar, I found an altar with the subscription to the unknown God whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. Him I declare unto you, God that made the world and, and all things therein, seeing that he is, he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwells not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with man's hand, as though he needed anything, seeing he gave it to all life and breath and all things, and have made of one blood all nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth. And have determined the time before appointed and a bound of their habitation that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him, though he be not far from every one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poet have said, for we are also his offspring. I've read Acts, the 17th chapter, verse 22 and 28. And 10 reasons why atheists are missing out on God's goodness. And the number one reason they're missing out on God's goodness, because they have not balanced their life being grateful and ungrateful of being waking of opportunity of their limbs functional. Yes, my friend, they have become ungrateful of being waking of the opportunity of their limbs functional. Which means that if they have the activity of their limbs and they are ungrateful rather than saying, Lord, I thank you. The opposite is in a wheelchair unmovable, we say God does not exist because of this handicap. But I know people that are handicapped they're not blaming their handicap, but they're, they, they're praising God in spite of their handicap because they know that when they get to heaven, they're going to have a new body. Oh, glory to God. This mortal shall put on immortality. Hey, glory to God. So, number one, they become, glory to God, ungrateful. Yes, they're, they're missing out because they balance and they become ungrateful rather than being grateful to God. The second reason why atheists are missing out on God's goodness, they into make-believe concept of being, being, being rather than. Glory to God. They are missing, they, they, they are making unbelief concept of a being. Hey, glory to God, that exists. But it say don't exist. So they make him believe. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. They're saying that just the word God is a concept of your thinking. So they can stop thinking and it don't exist. But my friend, there's a God. Whether you believe him or not, is a God of the universe. God woke you up this morning. God starts you on your way. God bless you with a job that you go to. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling you, my friend, they're, they're, they're into make-believe concept of a being. Hey, glory to God. So they say it's just a part of their imagination or part of their mind. The third reason, they never read or study the biblical texture and draw the conclusion of the greatness recorded through the Bible. Yes, my friend, they never read or study 
the textual and draw their own conclusion or conclusion of God's greatness recorded. It was God's greatness in Genesis. He made man. It was God's greatness. He made the creation in Exodus. People was in slavery and God depart, let them depart from slavery. In Numbers, there was will, they were wandering in the wilderness. And in glory to Leviticus, he said the law of doing things right in God's eyesight. And Deuteronomy, he make a second law because glory to God, God got so mad, he made a second law, which was the first law, glory to God. So I'm telling you, my friend, they need to read and study the textual rather than, rather than drawing a conclusion, glory to God, of God's goodness that's recorded to history. See, History is history. It's not history made by man, but it's history made by God. Hey, glory to God. Number four reason, they see a being that's invisible, which is a good start of believing the omnipresent of God's glory through history. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, atheists are missing out on God's goodness. Like in Athens, how uh, Paul went to Athens and see that they are very superstitious to an unknown God whom they ignorantly worship. I'm telling you, my friend, there are people in America, there are people in the world, they are ignorant concerning their worship. God is not a statue, my friend. God is not a white man with blue eyes and long hair. God is not a... God is not on, on the cross anymore. He been even off the cross. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory. And number fifth reason, they have they have been battling their belief of why and how he did not do it. The hurt within their heart. They are battling, my friend. With why did God take my mother? Why did God take my father? Why did God let my newborn baby die? They are battling, glory to God, with their hurts. Rather than knowing that they will see their mother and their father and their baby if they was born, if they've been born again. But you will see that baby again, my friend. Hey, glory to God. So they're battling their belief of why and how God did not do it for them. My friend, you're missing out on God's goodness because you're holding grudges on God. Number six reason, they see God beneath, beneath, now, not above, they see God beneath their great one or just a thought in the imagination or their conscience. They see glory to God. Hallelujah. They see God beneath. So they lower God to a standard beneath the great one. They say Socrates is great. They say Pluto is great. They say Aristotle is great. But I come and tell you, my friend, they are not great. God is great. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. So, so they see God beneath a, the, the great one or just a thought in their subconscious. Atheists are missing out on God's goodness. God woke you up this morning, whether you believe it or not. It wasn't your alarm clock that woke you up this morning. It wasn't your alarm clock that, that triggered your, your emotions so you can hear. It was God that blessed you with the ear to hear. God bless you with the eyes to see. God bless you with the nose to smell. God bless your mouth to speak. God give you fingers so you can handle and feet to walk. And a mind to think, my friend. It was God. It wasn't no darling. Hey, glory to God. Hey, man. And number seventh thing, they blame God for the hurt in their life. Yes, they blame God. You're missing out on God's goodness because you're blaming God about your hurt in your life. Love been taken or baby death unanswered question that never answer by God. They say so they're blaming God. God is your fault. They point to God, say, God is your fault while my baby die. Lord is your fault while my wife die. Go, they're blaming God. 
So they're missing out on God's goodness because of their blaming. Hey, glory to God. You, you, you must realize that God, we're living in an unfallen earth. We live in the earth that the devil is the God of this world. Hey, glory to God. God is omnipresent. God is infinite, my friend. God is powerful. But when Adam and Eve sinned, my friend, Adam and Eve gave the, gave the title to the world to the devil. And that's why the God, the devil is the God of this world. Hey, glory to God. We saw that in, in, in Matthew, the fourth chapter, when the devil trying to tell God, tell, tell Jesus, turn these stone into bread. He said, Jesus Christ, cast yourself from him because it is written. So the devil know the scripture. The devil know the word. But the devil will twist the scripture for his advantage so you can fall. And that's why we got to know the word for ourselves. God don't tempt, my friend. God tests you to elevate you. Hey, go, the, the devil tempt you, make you fall into sin. So test and temptation is different. Test mean that he want to make you fall. And test mean he want to elevate you for another level. And when there's another level, there's another devil. But God is still in the testing business. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, shall I bring an example? Yeah, I'm going to bring an example. I'm so glad you asked. When God tests Shachrach, Meshach, and Abednego in Babylon, the king said that if when you hear the music and we see a statue, I want you to fall down and worship it. But the Shachrach, Meshach, and Abednego say, we are not careful to answer you of this matter. The God that we serve is going to deliver us from your hand. And they told Shachrach, Meshach, and they tied him up, Lord, and put him in a fire furnace. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, my friend, testing is blessing and temptation is falling. Hey, glory to God. So they put Shachrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire furnace, and the king was hastening, went to the fire furnace, and the king saw the fourth one, and he said, look like the son of man. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, atheists, you are missing out on God's goodness. Hallelujah. I'm more happy than a person that have a million dollars. I'm more happy than a person that live in a big house. I'm more happy than a person that have a Tesla car. Oh, glory to God. Because this joy that I have, the world can't give it to me. And the world can't take it away from me. My joy don't predicate on material things. But my joy predicate on my, me experiencing the God of the universe. And the God of the universe is not money. The God of the universe is not sex. The God of the universe, my friend, is Jesus Christ. Hey, glory to God. Let me hasten on. Hey, glory to God. So we see that, hallelujah, in eighth reason, they are so blessed, they missed who the one blessing them. They want the blessing, but 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 the blessed they scorn or say he does not exist. The king was eaten by a worm, or the king in Daniel 3 was a beast for seven years. I'm hastening on. And glory to God, in the knife reason, God can blow on our health or a substance instantly, but God is full of mercy and love. And number 10th reason, they are, they are broken hearted about situation of why did not God do it for them? So they, they say, I don't believe God anymore. They, they become, they, they've been brought up in the church, my friend, in the presence of God. But as they get older, they say, for, they say, forget God. As they get older, 
child approach, they turn their back on God existence and God forgiveness. And there's a lot of people, my friend, watching this video right now. You've been brought up in the church, my friend. But as you soon as you get older, you turn your back on God. You say, they ain't no God no more. I'm going to make my decision on my own. But I come to tell you today, my friend, you can turn your back on God. God going to turn your back on when the time come for you to stand before God. And God going to say, why should I let you into my kingdom? And you can't say it because my mama didn't tell me. You can't see a daddy didn't tell you. You got the Bible. You got a B-I-B-L-E to carry you to, to the throne of grace, my friend. And it was God mercy that hallelujah, things seen or unseen, he protect you. And now you, got, you are grown and old. You say, forget God. Forget God. Forget the church and forgive Everybody, I'm my own man. I'm my own woman. But I'm going to tell you, my friend, you need God. God is too good to be unknown. Oh, glory to God. God is too big, hallelujah, to go over him. And he's too wide to go around him. God is omnipresent. God is invincible. God is so Powerful, my friend. Oh, glory to God. So I'm telling you, my friend, 10 reasons why atheists are missing out on God's goodness. You're missing out. You might have a lot of money in the bank. You might have a lot of cars in your garage. You might have the biggest house in your neighborhood. The whole neighborhood might have your estate, my friend. But I come and tell you, you need God. You need God, atheist. Yes, you do. You might think your money in the bank is sufficient to you. You can buy life insurance, but you can't buy life. You can buy glasses, but you can't buy vision. You can buy love. Hallelujah. You can't buy love. You can buy sex. Hallelujah. You can buy lust, but love is not for sale. So what I'm saying to you, atheist, you got to Come down and fall on your knees and recognize there is a God. There is a God in the universe. There is a God that made it rain, my friend. There is a God that made it snow, my friend. There is a God that made the hallelujah, the hurricane. Oh, glory to God. But some of y'all are so ignorant. You got money, but you're ignorant. You got degrees, but you're ignorant. You got all the material things, but you're ignorant. And when you die, you will stand before God. God. And God going to say, do you remember that poor, that poor prophet that was preaching about atheism and, and missed out on God? Oh, yes, my friend. So I'm telling you that's watching this video. You must realize there's a God. There's a God in the universe. There's a God everywhere. You might, hallelujah, say they don't exist. But one day, hallelujah, you want to stand before God. And you want to say, oh God, I didn't know. And God will say, go to hell. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He gave you so many mercy. He woke you up this morning. He starts you in your way. He let you brush your teeth, take a bath. Put your clothes on and you walk out the door. Oh, glory to God. You went to the restaurant. You don't even thank God you eat your food like a dog. Oh, glory to God. But I come and tell you, hallelujah, that's watching this video. Oh, glory to God. There's a God in the universe. You might not believe me, but one day, one day in the sky, we're going to see him. One day, you're going to stand before him naked. Kid, huh? And he's going to say, why should I let you huh, into my kingdom? Huh? And you're going to be speechless. Huh? And he's going to say, go to hell. Huh? You can't uh, compromise. Huh? You can't buy him huh? because uh, he's spreading uh, his love and mercy. Huh? He said, for God so loved the world huh, that he gave his only begotten son, huh, that whosoever believe in him huh, should not perish, huh, but have everlasting life. Huh? I'm telling you, huh, that's watching this video. 
Don't let your life be vain. The Bible say the life of the man, life is not consistent of the thing that he possess. Don't labor for the meat that perish, but labor for the meat that endure to everlasting life. What the son of man gonna give? I come and tell you that's watching this video. You wasting your time, my friend. You got CDs. You got money in the bank. But I come and tell you, the Bible say, don't set your affection on things, hallelujah, on the earth. But set your affection on things above. Because where thieves, hallelujah, comes in and steal and break, hallelujah, where your treasure is, your heart may be also. So I'm saying to you atheists that's hurting because you lost your loved one, I come and tell you, if your loved one was not saved, you won't see him no more. But I come and tell you, you ought to get saved so you can see your loved one again. Oh, glory to God. So I'm telling you in closing, it's time for you to wake up and realize there's a God, whether you believe it or not, and you're going to be judged according to what you know. Oh, glory to God. What I'm saying to you, hallelujah, the Bible says, cry loud. Uh, and spear not. Uh, lift up the trumpet, uh, your voice like a trumpet, uh, and show my people uh, their sin. Uh, America uh, is damned. Yes, my friend, uh, America is damned. Uh, and the reason why America is damned, uh, because let everything go on uh, under the sun. Yes, uh, America do everything uh, under the sun. Uh, America, uh, it seems like atheists, uh, because they let homosexuality uh, Go on, all in the church, all in the pulpit, on the piano. The children are confused. Got two sex, same sex father, two same sex mother, and why, my lord? So what I'm saying, if you are atheist, if you are having this condition going on in the church, you are atheist because my Bible tell me there was Adam and Eve. Where we get Adam and Steve or Jane and Jane? No, 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 my friend. We got to come and realize we have concept of, of atheism. Atheism don't believe in God. And if you say you believe in God and changing the nature of God, you become an atheist. Oh, glory to God. So I'm saying, what you saying, preacher? I'm saying if you are changing the glory to hallelujah to a bad story, you are changing the grace to disgrace, you are atheist. Oh, glory to God. Yes, I'm saying you are atheist because if you are adulterer, oh, glory to God, you've been married 10 times and you shout the house down, you become an atheist because you're changing the glory into a bad story. Oh, glory to God. So I'm saying to you, in closing, we got to stop Act like there is no God. Hey, glory to God. Yes, stop acting like there ain't no God because there's a God whether you believe it or not. And God ain't in a lot of these churches. Hallelujah. You have horse statue on your windshield in church, your glass flanteleer in church. You are mason in God's church. You ain't no pastor. You are the pastor of the devil, my friend, because you can't serve two masters. You got to serve God or mamma. Make up your mind. How long are you against two opinions? If the Lord be God, serve him. If the devil is God, you serve him. But stop fooling God's people. Hey, glory to God. Hey man, go to God. Hey, it's a lot of churches. God say, I'm not in it because you make my house a den of thieves by the house of prayer. But I'm still on subject. Ten reasons why atheists missing out on God's goodness. 
And some y'all say y'all believe in God. Y'all don't believe in God. Because if you believe in God, your work will speak for you. Speak for you. And go to God. Wake up, church. God is on his way back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. We plain church. And we wonder why our children are in the street because we plain church. It's no time to play church. It's time to be serious for God. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, touch somebody right now. Touch the atheist right now. Let them realize that there's a God. The same God that brought them up in Sunday school is the same God can bring them when they get older. Bless my brother. Bless my sister. In a mighty, matchless name, unto him is able to keep us from falling and to preserve us fallen. With a seen and joy to the only wise God, our Savior. Power, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Just stay. Amen.